So welcome back. Uh, it is so nice to see you. I am Rachel Heisey, if we haven't met or talked before, and I am missing my yogis from West End Yoga, where I taught on Saturdays at 7.30 a.m., um, and so I wanted to just create a short practice today, just to touch base, to say hello, and to stay in touch. So this one, oh, we have a kitty coming out. Um, this one, we often spend more time outdoors than indoors. Hi, Moose. This is Moose during the summer. So sometimes we just need a shorter practice. So that's what this one hopefully will do for our bodies. And um, at the end of the video, I can tell you a little bit more about what's coming up next. So, uh, or I'll also add it to the show notes here. But thank you so much for doing this for your body, for just connecting again and creating some energy and some strength. This will be a nice short summer practice. So before we start our child's pose, take a moment to hug your legs. So what that does is you can feel the embrace of your body. So you really breathe and enjoy that. Close your eyes if you feel comfortable to feel the heat and the warmth of your own skin. And inhale, lengthen the crown of the head tall. So feel the energy it takes. It takes a little more to hug in, a little more to lift up. And even tuck your chin gently until the back of the neck feels a lot longer than the front. So take a nice deep breath there again. Feel the belly hug your legs. And I'm grateful for this moment. One more breath. Just thankful that you're doing it. Allowing yourself to pause for the next few moments. And just be here. And when you're ready, exhale. Cross your ankles. Let your knees drop open. We're going to start with getting in tune with our breath and our body. So take one hand over your heart and the other low on your belly and just let yourself breathe here. Inhaling and exhaling. And then notice how you're doing. Let that question linger. Just notice what are you carrying in this moment? Where do you want to let go? Take two deep breaths, just focusing on the physical aspects of your lower hand. So breathing in a way that means it. And then let it go the whole way. So one more time, breathe to the lower hand that naturally calms us down, taps into a calming nervous system. And exhale to the next one. So now we are going to turn to our side, and you can start in child's pose. We're going to progress. So take your hips back. Reach your hands forward and allow your head to relax. Take a nice deep breath and sigh into your mat. Let the whole body relax in. And then one more time, breathe in. And then sigh and let go. Coming to puppy pose from right to hips. Move your hands 6 to 12 inches forward. And then exhale back until you feel the stretch between your wrist to your hip line. So right there. Underneath your heart and your arms. You can let the head hang, or if you feel more of a stretch lifted, go ahead and lift. Think about lengthening the tailbone back and the crown forward towards your hands. And take two more sighs, really letting your body wake up and breathe. And then, when you're ready, if you like, we'll lift to down dog next. So, tuck the toes, lift the hips. And in the same way, you're going to press your chest back. So we'll find our alignment first. I want you to power down in your hands, really lift your hips, and spin your inner armpits outward. I know that's a weird thing to say, but take a moment to feel that in your body. You'll feel as if you shrug your shoulders closer to your head, and you brought your shoulder blades on the inner edge together in your back. So you'll open up your heart. And then draw in the upper part of your ribs. Perhaps it's the lower part of Standing, and that feels like your spine is forward. And then take two sides here. Lengthen your tailbone up as you do, and you crown your head down. So see if your spine can get longer. A nice deep breath. One more sigh into it. And then starting to plank and bend the knee. Extend the other foot down and switch side to side. So you're allowed to let go of your alignment for a moment when 
you're conscious of it. And keep lengthening and opening space in your body. So keep anything that feels like it wants to collapse or get tense, if it's allowed to get open. And take some openness. And one more deep breath in, maybe heels up. And then exhale, let your body find your down dog. So if you feel like your tailbone is tucking under like a rounded cat, I want you to lengthen it out by bending your knees a bit, pushing your hands down. Take one more deep breath. And then just one more moment here, if you want to take it. I know it's a lot for your arms. Lift one leg, breathe into the tailbone, reach. And exhale, bring it down. So feel the energy you're creating, other side. Inhale, reach. And exhale, bring it down, eyes to your fingertips. Knees bend, breathe in. And exhale, you can walk or hop to your hands and let yourself relax in the fold. And you can shake it out, yes and no, all the shoulders, maybe the hips. What would feel great? Ask your body and then listen to your heart. One more deep breath. Sink into the exhale, get a little longer in your spine as you release. Hands to shins or under the toes and lengthen, flat back, gorilla. And exhale, let it go. One more time, lengthen, flat back, hands to shins or toes. And let it go. Knees bend, eyes lift a lot. And then inhale slowly, push the ground down with your heels to rise up. And then exhale, hands come to the heart. So I want you to find your mountain. So you can separate your feet hip width or closer together, as long as you feel balanced on the mat. And then push down into the outer edges of your feet, and then the inner toes and inner heel. Take a nice deep breath. Find length upwards through the crown, and then downwards through the tail. And just notice what that does to your core, the strength that it runs through your low abs as well as your obliques. And today, take your hands open next to your pet feels comfortable. And see how if you spin your thumb out, you can also spin your shoulder blades together. But at the same time, don't let your chest pop too far forward. Take the lowest rib and hug your ribs. And then you'll feel this full support throughout your spine. And as you breathe with your open heart, I want you to just let in whatever it is that you want for the next few moments of your day, the evening, whenever you're watching this. And just breathe that in. One more breath, just breathing in whatever it is that you want to realize more of. And then inhale that in. Exhale, let go of anything you want to leave behind. And we'll start to flow. Inhale and reach up. And find your length, pressing down on the heels, reaching up in the fingers. And exhale, dive down and feel the joy of falling forward. Hands to shins or under the toes and feel your body expand. Can you make it happen? And then exhale, let go. Knees bend. Step the leg farthest away from you, back. And then find your first low lunge. So you might need to take a little bit of time, reposition, until you feel like you can line up your knee right over your ankle or have it closer to you. So what we want to avoid is it being farther forward than you. Nice 90 degree or closer to you. And then breathe down into that. Can you lift your arches? It might take pressure into the ball of the foot, the pinky toe, and you might be able to add a grip to it. So find that for you. And then breathe your heart open, taking the shoulder blades back. Inhale. And exhale, back to down dog. Take one full breath, pressing the hands down and hips up. Really feel your breath. And then if you want to come to plank, inhale forward to your plank. Find a strong straight spine. So you can be kneeling or lifted. And then pause so you can feel it. So shoulder blades behind the back come together. Ribs come in. And create your length. Head to tail. Breathing in. And then exhale and slowly lower the whole way to the mat. So toes point back. Tuck your chin gently. And inhale up to baby cobra. So here your hands are off the mat or just gently touching them. And all the strength comes from the back muscles. So chin tucks, lengthen through the crown, and point energy down through your toes on the mat. Really energize. One more breath in. 
And then exhale, let it go. Tuck the toes, push and pull back to your down dog and breathe. Take one more breath. Feel the energy and life in your body celebrating. And then if you like the leg lift, we'll start by lifting the leg closest to you, closest to your screen up. This time you can even open your hip a little bit. Square your shoulders to the mat. Breathe in. Soft knees. And exhale. Bring that leg forward. And place it down right in front of you. So you're on the same side lunge. Opening the heart. Breathing deeply. One more exhale. Letting go. Of whatever you don't need. Knees bend and step forward. Let yourself relax. This time, if you want, bend your elbows, hug them, and go just a little bit deeper. Really breathe and exhale. Take one more cleansing breath. What could you reset or calm or comfort? Knees bend, eyes lift a lot, and inhale the whole way up. If you want to back bend, take your tailbone back to create the flow. One more breath in. And then exhale the whole way down. Knees bend and we dive. Hands to shins or under the toes and lengthen. How much can you expand? You're warmer now. And then let it go. Knees bend. This time, start with moving the leg forces to move back. And then take as much time as you need to reposition until your ankle and your knee are either lined up or your knee is closer to you than your hand. Shoulders rolling back, heart open. Take a big breath, holding as much space in your life and body that you can, breathing in, and then exhale back to down dog and breathe out. Power the hands down, lift the hips, open your heart, feel the energy in your breath. And we'll come forward, inhale to your plank if you want this. If not, come to your child's pose or plank pose. Shoulders back, ribs in. Feel your strength. Inhale. Exhale, slowly lower. This time halfway or all the way. Let your body kick. And then inhale up, opening the heart center, lengthening the toes. So if you're an up dog, the other option is baby cobra. I want you to open your heart center. Think about that. Add some space in your collarbones. And let your tailbone come out of your body. One more big breath. And exhale back to your down dog. And take a deep and energizing breath to refresh. Once again, this time, if you want to lift, it's the leg farthest from you, farthest from your screen. Reach it up for me. Open the hip if you like. Square the shoulders. Inhale. And exhale. Knee comes forward, and we'll find our low lunge. So take your time. And then reposition the knee over the ankle and breathe, lifting and opening your heart. One more big breath in. And exhale, step forward and let yourself relax. This time, if you like, clasp the hands behind you and open your heart. So feel the energy in that. You can wiggle around, but I want you to recenter your body. So take a breath and let go of any tension. And if the tension has trouble letting go, provide comfort towards yourself. And then gently let the hands fall, sit the hips back, lift the eyes. This time come into powerful pose, hips sit back as if sitting in a chair, arms up, and shoulders will roll out, just like you're in down dog. So the shoulder blades come together behind you, and the ribs, we hug in. Yes, nice and strong. One more deep breath in. Exhale, sit more if you want. Inhale the whole way. And exhale, hands to heart. So take a moment to recenter. Whether you want your hands at your heart or you want to try again with your palms open next to you. What is it that you feel in this moment? And what needs cared for? And what are you longing for? What is it you want to cultivate? Draw that back to your mind. Bring the pathway there, even when you're done with your practice. So one more breath like this. Soft knees, inhale the whole way up, reaching to rise, lengthen, and exhale, dive down. 
Hands to shins or under the toes and lengthen the back. How strong and flat. And then exhale and let it go. Knees bend. This time you're going to set the leg closest to me. I want you to set that one back. And then we're bending the leg farthest from your screen. So that way you can turn towards me. All right, once you've got it, breathe in. Find your footing. Really strengthen that foot. Lift the arch. Back foot. We're going to step in and push it down. And then inhale, rise up to your warrior pose. And exhale, take a moment to settle. So you might want to reposition your feet. What I want you to look at and find is guiding your knee line in the direction of the middle of your toes. And then square your shoulders to the front line, maybe even last. And lengthen crown of the head and tail away from each other. So you'll feel your low belly engage. You'll feel the upper abs engage. So find that for your body. And then take a breath just to breathe into your power. Feel it. Feel the energy in your body. And then inhale, reach up. And exhale, open to your warrior two. So once again, I want you to take a moment to find it. So there's no rush in your yoga practice. And then look at your knees and guide them over the midline of your toes. Strong feet. Feel your arches lift. And then exhale, sink into it. So only go as far that your knee is still above or closer to you than your ankle. Feel the strength of the shoulder blades, taking them together in the back. But then at the same time, hug your lowest rib in. Lengthen through the crown of the head. And feel your strength. Gaze over your front arm. And then thankful for this body and your strong pose. What is it here that you want to cultivate or draw in? One more deep breath. And then exhale. Inhale, rise up, arms and legs straight and reach. And then exhale, point your toes over to the other side. So we'll start with our warrior two. So here your hips are still going to face me, face your screen. And then point your toes and your knees in the same trajectory for each leg. And then lengthen, crown of the head up, tail down, feel your low belly. And then can you hug your lowest rib? Inhale. Exhale, gaze down your front arm and sink. So feel the strength of your body. And at the same time, celebrate it. What can you give thanks for? How you feel, the energy you have, the ability to move, listening to your body and what your body needs. Yes, great job. So one more breath, feel the strength in you. And then warrior two. So this, we have to step the back leg out a little bit so your hips can turn. So take a moment to reposition. So you feel like your legs are parallel to each other, so they're not in line, but parallel with your hip joints. And then find where your knees can shine in the direction of your toes. Square the shoulders to the front edge of your mat. And then inhale. Exhale, shoulders come back and ribs hug in. Yes. Find your strength. Inhale, really puff the body, take up space. Exhale, sink into your body, find your strength. One more deep breath in, just feel the power in you. And then exhale, hands come down. This time, step the back foot in slightly so that you can straighten your legs, but I want you to soften your knees, so making sure they're not poking each other. Coming to pyramid pose, hips go back, head goes forward. And then lean back. And you can take a moment maybe to wiggle a little bit around in the body just to feel the stretch. And staying with our theme of a nice summer practice, so we'll practice that nice short and helps us energize. We're going to flow with this. So if you want to stay here, stay here. But if you want to try a standing split, you're going to lean your body forward until it's on the front. And then once you've got that, the back leg can either come in so that both knees are bent, or you can lift it up into the air. So both are great. And then here, I invite you to play around. So this body is yours. Only you know what you feel like at each moment. So take a moment to kind of play around. How do you feel? What do you want to do? Maybe bend the knees, maybe you can tuck back down. What will feel like a good strength, stretch? And then exhale, bring it down. This time I want you to bring your hips down 
and then lift your heels off the mat. So we're just going to stretch for them. You can hug your legs and breathe. You can let your heels kind of rest back down. You're stretching the back of your legs into your calf. Feel the compression of your own hug and celebrate that. If you want to wrap your arms around, one more deep breath. Connect your body, exhale. Your body's going to heal. And then other side. So we're going to lift our hips and step your opposite leg back. So most likely it's the one farthest away from your screen. If it feels good, you can even stand up for a moment just to get repositioned for your floor. So hips square down to the side of the mat. Lengthen all of your edges. So your long legs lengthen, the spine lengthens, your waist lengthens. So one more deep breath in. And then exhale, knees bend a bit so that you can pull forward without your grip extension. And then find the mat and breathe into that leg underneath you as if you're hugging it for your body. One more deep breath in. And then let it go. So if you want to keep that energizing flow, you're going to lean forward, sweeping in. Both knees could bend, and then opposite leg could bend. And again, play around. Where do your hands want to be? Where does your head want to be? Where do your legs want to be? So find what feels good to you. And one more deep breath. And then exhale and bring it down. Great job. All right. So you can take your legs wide onto your mat. And I'll call you to take your hair down so you can see. And then just get situated so that you feel like you are grounded with your hips. So what that might feel like is taking your hands, walking your hip bones back. And then inhale, lengthen your heart energy, flex through your feet, and then let them go. If you feel like your tailbone is kind of curling under, I want you to bend your knees so you can sit up tall. Yes. Inhale, and then exhale, energetically lean forward, and when you're ready, hands can come in front. So here, play around with your body again. What would feel good? A little movement into either side, shaking the legs, and really exhale. Each breath out comes just a little bit deeper. Inhale, walk up. And then exhale, walk far to the other side and lengthen into your long side base. So kind of ground the hip behind you and breathe into the longest part of your stretch. A gentle tip of the chin will help you feel like your neck is aligned and your cerebral spinal fluid can flow. And then inhale, walk it up. And the other side, so walk to the other side, really stretch and breathe down your longest stretch. So that might be the outside of your waist, or it might be an area of your, in your legs, depending on where you hold your tailbone. Nice deep exhale, let go on the jaw and the shoulders. One more breath. And then inhale, walk it up. We'll do that two, um, two more stretches right here on our mats. I want you to take one leg and cross it over the other and then lower your mat. So take your time, use your hands to walk your sit bones back again and then add that energy. So hands come back, energize the heart open, front body stretch, and then exhale and fold forward. And let your back body as well as the long sides of your legs so this feels great, especially if you have IT band issues. And be gentle. Bend your wrist as it feels good. Let your body energy come out. Ease up. Maybe bend your knees. Maybe don't fold. And then gently inhale, rise on up. And exhale, we'll switch sides. So other side again. Use your hands. See your sit bones can kind of walk away from you. And inhale. And then exhale and fold forward. And give yourself permission to let go, to fully relax, and to just be who you are. One more breath. 
and then inhale and walk it. And exhale, we're gonna scooch our butt forward so that we have enough room to lay back. So if you want some strength for your core in this energizing workout, I want you to keep your legs separated hip width on the mat, feet square. Hands come behind you and we'll start with that line of energy. So inhale, energize your heart open. And then exhale, I want you to tuck your tailbone so that you feel like your core is having to hold you now. So this is not what we do when we're in alignment, but we're coming to the she shoots, it's all right. And then we're gonna take our arms out and start that curve a little more. So right now you are in a boat pose, just modified with the feet back. So if you want, we're gonna lift one leg up, breathe in, and then exhale down. Other side, inhale up, and exhale down one more time. Inhale up, exhale, second side, breathe in, Breathe out. So here you can hold and just take three deep breaths, open your heart. Or if you want a full boat, you can take the legs up. And if you really want to challenge, you try to hollow out your boat coming lower. Yes. One more deep breath, you've got it. Breathe out the sides. And then exhale and reach overhead as long as you like. So try to let your belly pop up. So out of alignment, nice little back bend to stretch your belt muscles. Inhale and then exhale, arms out wide. And we're gonna bend our knees. So you can lift your tailbone a little bit. It's kind of like you're about to hug your knees and then rock them towards your spine. Take your head lift and look away from your leg. And exhale, ground your shoulders on both sides evenly. So see if you can make that pop. And on each breath out, if you wanna stay in that energy, I want you to think about really exhaling. Use your energy to breathe out, massage your inner you have the option to take your top leg long and hold on to it if you like that stretch instead. And really exhale, what would be the most caring thing you could do right now? One more deep breath. And then exhale, bend the knees, bring them back to center. So bring them in, kind of like you're about to hug them, and then roll your legs to the other side. Head lifts and looks away from your knees. And see if you can exhale and ground your forearms so they are both down onto the mat evenly. And if you like, your top leg could extend again and you hold on to it. So breathe deep. And with each exhale, focus on that comfort of your part of your belly, of your abdominals. Just picture yourself refreshing with each And then gently bring it back down. And last energizing, energizing activity. We're gonna lift our heels, lift our hands, lift our hips, stroke a child's. If you want, you can even hold on to your toes or your shins and really reach, reach, reach. And then exhale, you'll lay your head back down and your spine will be longer. Knees bend and feet come to the mat. So here, if you want, you can keep your knees bent and just rock your knees towards each other. Place one hand right below the left side of your chest for your heartbeat or just the warmth of your body. And the other hand below, below your belly button. And just breathe, feel the comfort in your body. If you are okay with it, close your eyes for a moment. And feel the rise and fall of your breath. Feel how much heat you've generated. And just notice how your body is able to care for you. It's able to hold you up for the right factors. To do poses that you can stretch. To help you glow and energize. And also for moments like this to help you calm and be comforted. Before you fully relax, try to remember what it is that you felt like you needed the beginning of your practice. And you bring that to mind. And when you breathe in, breathe it in. And you even could extend your arms up in the air and lay at the knees and just bring that awareness. And then as you exhale, allow your body to soften. And we'll do that one more time, breathing in. And then let go. So if you want a fully comforting pose, you can take that. Maybe letting your feet back out or your hands back out. Or maybe laying to one side if that's a little more comforting or staying where you are. 
Try to exhale through the ground and support. And because this is a shorter energizing flow, or just for you to be present in your life. So see if you can hear all the sounds around you. Maybe there's some are waves or someone close to you is talking to you. They're still. And just take it in. I invite you to notice them all float. They're not attaching to anyone. We're practicing equanimity. Letting everything just be seen. And not cause a reaction. But it is something that you're allowed to respond to. It's beneficial. Scan down your body and notice the same. Let any thoughts or feelings linger in your mind. Anything that you're holding on to, you just notice them. Instead of attacking or reacting or trying to wish it away, simply allow yourself to be as you are. And then take a breath and just notice what would be the most loving thing towards yourself in regards to those things that you And one more deep breath. I want you to notice what feels good right now. What did you create in your own body and find out you can soak that in. That is a good feeling and to be mindful of. And then when you're ready, you can start to move your body while you're listening for those of your fingers and toes. What would feel good? Maybe you want to take a big stretch if you're going somewhere, keep it in there. Okay. And then roll to one side and allow yourself to rest for a moment. Be thankful for your practice. Take a breath. And then as you're ready, you can press the sit up nice and tall. And we will finish with a deep breath together. So inhale and reach up. And exhale. Namaste. So thank you so much for doing this summary uh, yoga practice. I hope that it does serve you well. I mean, just a shorter energizing. You want to get flowing. You want to get in touch with your body that this helps so you can do it over and over whenever you need it. So my name is Rachel Heisey and I love uh, teaching. I really do miss the in-person instruction but it's been nice to do these and reach some uh, different uh, people online during our quarantine. So thank you for watching. Um, with social distancing in place we are starting to teach now that it's nice out. I am offering a yoga bar um, workout outside and that's once a week it's weather tentative so if you are local to me and you want to try that out you can message me either in person or online i'm going to offer both options so you have to reach out to me if you don't have it and other than that you can contact me at yoga breathe pray it's all one word and at yours.com it's on facebook it's on twitter and it's on youtube where across these videos to both. If you can subscribe there, have a few extras there as well. But please do bless you. Please consider uh, donating whatever you want. Um, and I can also leave that in the show notes if this helps. You know, we really need so great just to love you guys. So I am super, super thankful that you get this through your body, the healthier you are, the healthier you're able to interact with those around you and that you are well-being and focused to your work. So great job. Grace, peace, and namaste. Thanks so much.